back in town. The Family Fun Center in Upland is back with the family who started it all 50 years ago. I was about five years old, but I have vivid memories of my dad pouring the concrete. Scott Hewish's dad passed away last year right after the company leasing the property and running it for the past couple decades filed for bankruptcy during COVID. His family has been dreaming of the day when they could say, welcome back to the community. Inside Bullwinkles with yeah, locations the across the West Coast the are ground. some of the Yoke classics. Yoke All the old classics. Uh, Which one are you the best at? Uh, this is one of my favorites. Give it a try. What do I do? Hit the clown? Just hit the clown. Okay. Nice job. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got it! Oh. Oh. This is one of our new indoor attractions. It's the XD Dark Ride. It's 7D, 3D oh motion, sound, wind, and lights. You better start shooting. I'm sorry. I, nobody told me what to do. Nice for playing. Experimental and fun. Oh, it's not too bad for a reporter. <laughs> got my fun card. So it's kind of a cross between whack a mole and Ice Age. Game over, you won. I won! I don't know how I won. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> do I win a prize? Kids can learn about the old cartoons Rocky and Bullwinkle that the Entertainment Center has rights to use. Adventurers can go-kart race around the track. Oh no, he's gaining on us! And play miniature golf outside and inside. This was the first miniature golf course in the country. There's so much character in here, and everything is exactly the same as it was 50 years ago. The only thing missing is Humpty Dumpty. He literally fell off the wall and broke. You only have about six more months to come play miniature golf here before they're going to tear it down and rebuild. Next summer, they're turning the inside mini golf courses into a modern bowling alley with air hockey, laser tag, and a barn restaurant that will still serve their rockin' pizza. But before they do, you gotta come play Cosmic Golf, a glow-in-the-dark mini course with a little western town, a graveyard, and portraits of Scott's dad and five family members who started Bullwinkle's Family Fun Center back in 1972. My dad was an inspiration to me and so many other people. He loved the community, he loved people, and he loved giving back. And that's what we are striving to do with this park. We'll continue his legacy. And in his honor, come have some fun again. Living it up at Bullwinkles in Upland, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News.